on guys and welcome back. I'm in the twin turbo ZL1 today and I'm headed to CSP. Not a surprise there, but I do have a big surprise for all of you guys, even myself, because I haven't seen it yet. This is a very big part for the LSX that's going in the Freedom Rocket and I've literally been waiting months for this, no lie. There are only a handful of people in the entire world that have one of these. So this is a brand new item just came out not too long ago and i'm very very excited to finally get in the car i figured now that i have this car back i take it for a ride it's a nice day about 73 degrees oh yeah back at csp no place to park because i definitely ain't parking there and having a tree come down on my car i've just been having really really bad luck lately so i just don't want to take my chance at it what's up, what's up? did it arrive yet what's up? did it arrive yet yeah it did? Yeah. Where's it at? It's over there by your car. Oh, okay, cool. Who invited you? Who invited me? You need to shave, I don't, man. I invited myself. What do you mean I need to shave? Yeah. He's just mad. Look at his look at his lack of a beard. Lack of a what man. A smooth, beautiful face. Yeah. We all remember what it used to look like when we had a beard. I, I know. I... So, guess what? Both of us need to see this at the same time for, for at first. Okay. First people, because I told them uh, the story on the way here. Well, not really the story, but just the fact that we've been waiting months for this. Is, uh, is it in a box? It's in a box. Okay, it is in a box. Cover up the logo. Not like it matters, because we're about to find out in about three seconds anyways. And an ad. Man, we got the car here. God, so much things, ha so many things are happening. I want to see the engine in the car. I got to see what's going on the engine. I kind of gave it away already. On top of the engine. Dude, there's nothing in here. Shut the f*** up. Where's it at? No, it's right here. But, it says Nick Wright. Yeah, but, uh, I know it says my name. Just an empty box. Let's see the retape on the box because you guys are. F oh, yep. There it is. I know you have this tape. Where's the damn blower at? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. Oh, look, he retaped that one too. Can I come back for the retuning? Okay, let's show. Let's show them. These guys are trying to play a joke on me thinking it's not in the box. This is an empty box. They're hiding things. parts from me. So you guys know, if you guys ever come to CSP, this is what they do to you. They uh -huh. hide parts from you. <laughs> they make jokes about it. Oh, it is on a pallet. Oh my God. The world's biggest supercharger is about to come out of this box. I told you it'd be big. It had to come on a pallet for God's sakes. All right, oh, so here we go. Really Preview of what's in here, but y'all don't know what's in here yet. It's brand new. Hot off the market. This one dull blade you got. No, there. there's a uh, flint. What is it with you guys and dull blades? It's because it's Josh's. Josh, you seem like the type of person that would have a dull blade. Oh my god. Look at it. Oh man. That thing is big. Holy crap. I'm, I love it. Cock setup? Yeah, look at that. Cog setup on the back. There. Power grip belt. There's Power that. grip cog. 430 19. Yeah, they definitely just put that together. 43019, there we go. Hey, they included a pulley for us. They did say that we're supposed to send that back. That's that's probably why. It's a test pulley, yeah, for their stuff. I like how the shaft is like contained. Yeah. Yeah, it's not like an open an open shaft. It actually has like a Yeah, it hasn't been circumcised yet. <laughs> Man. That's nice. The three bar back here? Mm -hmm. Dude, it does. Look how far forward that sits. Yeah. Well, let's go put it on the car. Yeah, what let's go. What are we waiting for? Put this thing on the car, bolt it up. I want to take it out for a rip. We got a throttle body we can throw on there, right? <laughs> that thing is huge, huge. Ah, oh, we got this on it. So before we put the uh, new Magnus in, I didn't even tell people what it is. Jesus, I'm I'm so far behind here. Yeah. So this is the new TVS 2650. 2.65 liters, brand new. Magnus literally just made this and made the hot rod kit for the LSA or really LS3 uh, heads and uh, this is going to be going on the LSX. That's why we ordered um, the, the PRC yeah. LS3 style heads. Man, it is definitely pretty. You know, I, I thought it was going to be big, but like when you see it in person, it's like, man, that is pretty big. Can't waste no time. Let's go oh, baby. Is it going to uh. clear? Yeah, no. The, uh, oh, yeah, I'm gonna be cutting some cowage. Oh yeah, cow's definitely gonna need cut. The hood's definitely gonna need cut, which we knew about that, which would be cool because that blower's gonna be sticking out of the hood. <laughs> Dang. I mean, it's pretty close to where it's gonna be actually. That thing looks 
pretty That's darn pretty sweet, doesn't it? Look how far, far forward it is. But well, it's got to go back a little further there, Andrew. We thought, yeah. I think I'm just going to start by taking the whole carbon piece off, and we'll just see where we need to cut. Almost yeah. So can we see inside there? I mean, yeah. Yeah, there's just some, uh, some big boys. You kind of see inside there. Go ahead and turn it, Alex. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Very nice. So, again, guys, uh, Magnuson did send a pulley on this, but it's their test pulley, so we have to, we had to take it off. This is, uh, what was this, Eric? A smaller, a smaller exactly. version of it, 75 millimeter. Mm -hmm. And then there's a Grip Tech one over here that also fits on it, which is probably what we're gonna end up getting because of the fact that uh, we want some extra grip on this pulley, especially if we're running something smaller. Well, we're gonna be running this gargantuan lower pulley. Yeah, and that so. big, old, big old lower. I mean, it's a 955. So, so it's definitely going to make some boost. Honestly, we can mess with pulley combinations to see what, what's what's best. Um, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Probably not right off the bat because we do have to get this car ready for the Galat event at the end of the month. This isn't even centered on the uh, on the heads. It's not even lining up with the uh, intake valve portion. So it's got to go back further, which means the cowl is going to have to get cut, which is okay because we're going to cut the hood anyways. Eric, go ahead and close the hood. Maybe move that. Yeah, that's it. That's good. That works. Let's take her out for a ride. <laughs> Ready for the first start. See so you having that quick, guys. Honestly, this looks really good now with the valve cover and everything. Yeah, it does. Really it does. Well. All right. Well, so right there. Let's not close it all. No. Oh no. No way. Look, when we've got essentially, we're gonna have at least three and a half inches. Maybe even up to this way, it'll be like four inches. So you figure it's gonna stick out more here up here. Because the hood slants, it's obviously. Work out perfect. This, this body line right here. Once we take this out. Yeah, that's what I'm that. thinking. Where does that come to when you close it? I mean, it's like here, right? Oh yeah, that right will here. work out good. Because with the throttle body and then the velocity stack, it's yeah, gonna it's come gonna up. Perfect. We could no take the whole thing out. That's what I mean. The whole thing yeah. will be off and be perfect. We we'll just have to cut the back part. Yeah, dude. And we're putting blower spacers on that. They're kind of like a thermal reduction plate to prevent uh, heat from the engine radiating into the blower. So that's going to be spaced out. I don't know how 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 thick are those spaces? Do you know, like a half inch? They're like quarter inch. They're not that. Are they a quarter inch? A little over quarter inch. Not definitely. Okay. Not so it's still going to be a little higher than it is now. Cut the cow. Cut the hood. I'm liking it. So this is the entire kit from Magnuson, guys. This is the Magnuson 2650 with the LSA hot rod kit. If you guys are interested in something like this, you have an LSA, or hey, you have an LSX. Make sure you got LS3 heads because that's what it's meant to fit on. This is going to stick out the hood too. I think it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be cool i could get an ss hood and then cut it like perfectly around that but uh the ss hood sits lower too because if you know if you guys it's notice the zl1 has a little bit bigger of a cowl than the ss style hood but i think what we're going to do is take this carbon fiber piece out take this off and get the sheet metal cut first and then worry about this no more wipers I never like used them rain. anyway. I never drove you in the rain. You have a blower sticking out of the hood. You're not going to want that to get rained <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, no. <laughs> right. You can put a GoPro like here facing the intake so you can see it and just sucks it open. That'd be kind of cool. Actually. You know what? I'll just put a GoPro inside the blower. blower. It's that big. There you go. <laughs> it literally is. Yeah, it really, it really fits the car. <laughs> I will say that. It's going to be different than everyone else too, which would be nice. Yeah, because nice. it's got the LSX on it. Well, just or under it. A root style blower, you don't see a lot of like new gen race cars with big root styles like this. Well, hold on. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow. So I'm going to list all tomorrow. Velocity stack. Let's get the lawless reaction. Damn. <laughs> so you could double fist that thing. Oh my Try it. god. Oh Eric boy. double fisted it. That's how you have to. You not can, not yeah. that I've done it, but yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That thing could suck Joe Dirt's mullet right up. I would just cut a hole. Yeah. Or just like, you know, like a really cool, like like an axe. Make it look like it's hit it this way so it looks like the blower's ripping through the hood. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it just looks a lot bigger in person than on the photos. We're going to do a one, what is it, 109 or a 112, did we say? And make a 112. A nine, but I thought it was a 112. So, so whatever the biggest Nick Williams throttle body they make for this is what we're going to put on here. I think it's a 112. So this thing is a foot tall from like the bottom to the top of the blower. To, to exactly, the yeah. exactly a foot. Foot of freedom. <laughs> a foot of freedom. <laughs> About 10. Almost 10 inches Nine wide. Three quarters, 10. Man. Blower's the 
size of a Honda motor. It's actually yeah. bigger. What's the standard Honda, Honda mode? 1.6, 1.8. Yeah. Oh my God. I think the big block's like a 2.2 two, two or 2.5. Two, yeah. So this yeah. blower is literally yeah. one liter yeah. bigger than a Honda motor. It doesn't inhale air, it sucks in Hondas. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we took this <laughs> off the top of the engine. Alex already came up with his method of uh, turning it up. Yeah, turning it up already. Yeah. Letting it eat, as he likes to say it. Yeah, the. Uh, this cob pulley is, has more teeth than this one. Mm -hmm. So we did this a lot before, like on the older blowers, but you just switch them, change that ratio out. Change and that and that, flip flop, flip flop them basically. You overdrive the blower, spin it faster, more boost, more boost, more power, more wheelies. <laughs> <laughs> this is all new stuff, new territory. The only people that really have done testing is Magnuson. So I will be looking to them obviously for some answers on stuff, but uh, for, for the most part, it's going to be a very unique uh, setup because nobody has this really. And what I'm doing with it is a little bit different than the conventional LSA engine guys that would buy this and put it on an LSA. We're going to basically turn this bitch up and make some power. Let it eat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make sure for Alex it says let it eat. So another thing too I wanted to mention, we added an ice tank in the back, a five gallon ice tank. This is going to be used basically in conjunction with the uh, inner chiller. The one thing I was lacking last year was capacity of coolant because really I was only, let me walk around here real quick, I was only using basically this. You can see it's a Rotofab coolant reservoir which um, you know is great. If you got like a street car and you want an extra uh, coolant capacity it sits right here near your strut tower and uh, fits nicely. We were getting some uh, great cooling last year obviously with the inner chiller but this year we want even more um, capacity just to just to keep it cool the entire pass and it fits nicely in the back here we uh, probably won't be using as you can see the nitrous bottles are not in the back so with this blower my plan like I said originally was to have enough power more power than I had last year just blower only uh, without nitrous now maybe down the line we'll put the nitrous back in just for a little fun on top of the uh, power that it's gonna make but this was in the back of the car. It's staying out as of now. We're also going to try to put a meth tank back here because we're going to run meth with this as well. We'll run E85 in meth. Hopefully it makes some, some really good power. I'm also doing a fuel cell. So the fuel cell will be right here. We're going to get rid of the factory fuel tank. Are you in my shop by yourself? Yeah, I am. I thought you left. I was like, man, I guess I'm going to have to close up shop by myself. I was telling people about the ice tank. So is it five gallons, right? Yep. I wasn't sure on that, but it is five gallons for sure. I'm looking at it right now. I mean, it's dark now as you're closing up shop on me. Closing up shop on everybody watching the video. We're trying to keep the mystery. It's exactly what I do in my relationship. <laughs> it's huge. I'll the intercooler through the, uh, the ports. If you want to yeah. turn it on its side. Oh, I see Tip it. it the other way. It's big. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. I do see it in there. Oh, yeah. Look at that monster. Jeez. That's good. That's good to know. So there it is, guys. It's finally here. The new supercharger from Magnuson for the Freedom Rocket. Did you guys guess right? I know I drug you on for a while now, but uh, let me know in the comments if you did. And before I get into the outro of this video, I want to give a very big shout out to Magnuson for helping me out. And I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of a backstory here, why it took a little bit longer than it usually does. This supercharger is brand new. Like Magnuson just came out with this in April. I actually had a few different things in mind for the car. Uh, the Magnuson blower was obviously one of the options. The other option would have been to go to with a different style supercharger. I also kicked around the idea of doing a big single turbo on the car, but I feel like everyone does that and I also didn't want to lose the sound of the car either. I wanted something obviously a little different from the 6th gen, which is why I decided to put twins on the 6th gen, because I wanted that car to be different than the 5th gen. So I decided to keep it just like it was last year, but just go bigger, better, and more badass. And I'm really anxious to see what it does with the Texas Speed LSX, more so on the lines of like a max effort type build, uh, for the blower. So we're gonna push this thing as hard as we can and see how much power it can make So it's definitely gonna be something that you guys want to follow. Maybe you're coming here for the first time to check this out uh, Definitely follow this because we're gonna be doing some awesome stuff with it Stay tuned for the next video. The first startup is gonna be coming pretty quickly It's crunch time now for the first event which is down in North Carolina at Galat Motorsports Park It's called the anything goes showdown. It's on Memorial Day weekend May 25th and 26th I'll be there both days with the Freedom Rocket, probably not the twin turbo car, but we'll see, maybe I'll take it, I'm not really sure. There's gonna be a bunch of us YouTubers hanging out there. Uh, you got It's Just a Six, Dirty Max Jack, 
uh, Hammer Down Motorsports, he'll be there. Flying Sparks Garage, John Dock, there's, there's a bunch more. Uh, that, that's just to name a few for you guys. You can get your tickets at anythinggoesevents.com. Now the car will be ready for the event, but it's not gonna be complete. The build will be nowhere near complete. It'll literally be like, put the engine in the car, put the blower on the car, wire everything up, hook everything up, bolt everything down, and start it up and go to the event. So that's pretty much how it's gonna be. Uh, only because, like I said, it is crunch time, and there's still a lot, a lot, a lot to do on the car. But I do wanna make it to the event for you guys so you can check the car out, regardless of if it's semi-done or partially done. It will be there. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell to always be notified when I upload a video and have a great day.